lesser child in the world. This is your Father in Heaven speaking with you this day. The I Am of all creation. Your Creator. Your Father. Your Redeemer. Through Christ my Son. My Holy Son. My Beloved in Heaven. Blessed child, there is no accident that you are listening to this word this day, my words to your spirit, spirit unto spirit, deep unto deep, allow my words to wash over you this day my child, allow my presence to manifest in your life, feel my love, feel my glory, Feel me living within your innermost being, my Holy Spirit, my reality, your God. I am with you this day, my child. I am always with you. Are you aware of my presence? Are you aware of my voice, my reality, my spirit within you? Have you given your life to my Holy Son? your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, have you ever bowed your knee before me? Have you ever lifted your hands in worship, in praise? I love you, my child. You are beautiful in my sight, and I created you for such a time as this, because I love you, and I want to be with you. And I want for you to spend eternal life with me, my child, never ending. From glory to glory, I wish for you to be set free this day. I wish for you to dance with me in paradise. I wish to walk with you as a friend. I wish to talk with you, to show you my world. There is so much I want to show you, my child, so much I wish to explain. Will you listen? Will you come? Will you give unto me your whole attention? Will you give up your life for me as my son gave up his life for you? For your salvation, your victory, your eternal life. Can you bow your knee before me this day, my child? Can you focus your eyes upon me, upon my face, my words? Can you give up your whole life for me, laying down everything for me, to do my will, my purpose for your life? I have a great purpose for you, my child. It is by no accident that you are here on the earth. I know the plans I have for you, my child, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I am your future, my child. I am your eternal future. Allow my presence to soak deep within. Feel my love, my glory. Relax. Let go, rest. I wish to speak with you this day. I wish to show you something new, something pertaining to my heavenly realm, something you have never seen or heard of before, but which exists in the heavens above. Through this maidservant on the earth, I have chosen to reveal my kingdom. My two witnesses, my messengers, my two women. You can trust them, my children. They are not here to lead you astray. They are not here to deceive you or proclaim false prophecy upon the earth. They know me well. They have walked in my ways for a very long time. They love me, they believe in me, they know my Holy Bible, 
my words of truth. I love you, my children, and I ask that you come with me this day. Put your hand in mine and I will take you into a vision of heaven, a vision of my kingdom which is to come. For all those who put their hope and faith in Jesus Christ, my Son, his death and resurrection will save you, my children. You will be born again. Your spirit will come alive when you put your hope and faith in him. He is the victory for mankind. He is the salvation. He is the door. He is the sacrificial lamb. He is your redeemer, your savior, your closest friend. He will welcome you into paradise at life's end. He will judge all souls for me. I have given all power and authority unto him. Put your hope and faith and trust in him, my children, this day, for he loves you greatly, unconditionally. But one day he must judge your soul and whether you are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb, his blood or not, will determine your fate. You will either be separated from me for eternity, or you will be welcomed into paradise forever. My child, make your decision this day. Bow your knee. Recognize that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Your Lord, your Saviour, my Son, your God. Through his blood you can be set free. Through his blood you will be redeemed. The chains will be broken. You will be healed by the power of his name. His name is a name above all names. His name is higher greater than any name on the earth. He is my son. His blood was pure, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. On the third day he rose again, and he is seated at my right hand. He will come to judge the living and the dead, my children. He will judge you. You will stand before him in judgment one day. Will you stand before him in terror, in fear, trembling, ashamed, too ashamed to even look at his face? Or will you fall to his feet in worship, in love, in devotion? My children, Everything you do is recorded in my books, the eternal books of life. And I promise that one day your soul will be judged by the King of all creation. I do not want for you to be separated from me at life's end, my children. That is why I'm speaking to the earth at this time. If you are not saved, if you are not born again, you must listen, for time is short. You do not know the day or the hour of your death. It could be tomorrow, my child. And if you have not been born again, if your spirit has not been awakened, if you have not become one with me, your soul will be condemned to a place called Hades, a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, a place of darkness and separation from your God, a place without light, a place of fear and terror. For the wages of your sin is death, my children. It is written in my word, and you must be judged. You cannot do what you are doing and not be judged. This earth is the greatest test for humankind. Whether you can die to yourself, to ego, to pride, and submit unto your creator by free will. Blessed child in the world, I love you unconditionally and that's why I will not force you to love me. For what good is there in that? What reward for you if I force you to love me? I will not force mankind to love me, to recognize me as their God, to bow their knee before my son, to thank him for all that he did, 
for dying on a cross, a rugged cross, for your sin, for your salvation, for your healing, for your redemption. My children, I ask that you forgive all those who have sinned against you. Forgive them this day in the name of Jesus Christ so that you can be set free from all the chains that hold you, that bind you to the earth. I want you to be set free, my child, this day from all temptation, all addiction, everything that is holding you down, stopping you from worshipping, stopping you from praying, from believing, from reading my Holy Bible, from connecting with me. Blessed child, I want you to enter into the most amazing journey with your God. And these two maidservants will help you enter in. I have invited them to come with me into my heavenly realm so that you too can join them on this journey. Come this day, my child. Come with your heavenly Father. I will show you something beautiful something glorious, something you remember for all time. Come, let us go, let us fly into paradise. Lora bayana harishi kiti ki a hora boto, tora bete te delere akashi kiti. Holy Lord, ayana hola, I feel like I've entered a room. It's full of worshippers. It feels like I'm in a room full of angels. They are worshipping you. Their eyes are set like flint upon you. It feels like we are in a temple or a church on the earth. Kola harabashi ki asi a lamb kasha katoko holo harabashi apeki efa upon the altar a lamb that was slain a lady on the kosho katoko ki asi a cross holo harabashi ya la hashi ya hashi kiti ya hala hatate ya hashi kiti the whole room is worshiping the lamb kodo harabashi my child this is symbolic. The angels at this time worship continuously, night and day, for the souls of man. That souls will be awakened. The blood of the Lamb. His death for mankind. He is the way and the truth and the life, and it is only through His blood that you can walk freely into paradise, that your sins can be forgiven. It's the only way, my children. He is the door to heaven. He is the gate. He is my son. He is the vine and you are the branches. I see the whole congregation of worshippers. The angels fall to their knees. They do not look to the left or the right. Alehina Hashir focuses on the Lamb, the Holy Lamb. Kalehrianoha, they worship. They praise with thanksgiving. They give honor and praise and glory to God, our glorious God. Oh, they fall now to their face in worship with arms stretched out before them. And they are praying, declaring, decreeing for the souls of man that eyes will be opened, ears opened, hearts opened to receive him, his love, his blood for their sin. A beautiful exchange. An exchange between God and man because you love us so much. You love us unconditionally. And that is why you came and died and rose again. So that we might one day fall before him on our face in worship in the heavenly realm. 
Oh Lord, my child, how I worship with the angels this day. Anyone who is listening to this word, fall to your face and worship. Let go of all thoughts, all worries and concerns, all doubts, all unbelief. And for just a moment, on this day on the earth, worship, believe, surrender. Do not let your mind interfere. Allow your spirit to be free, to soar. I see myself fall to the ground. There are thousands of angels around me worshipping. They do not look at me. They are 100% focused on the Lamb, the Holy Lamb that was slain. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, how beautiful it is to worship Him. To finally let go and worship with my whole heart, mind and soul and strength. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for my sin. Thank you for salvation. Thank you that I am born again. That my spirit has been awakened to see you, to know you, to hear your voice. I pray multitudes will come and worship this day in heaven. Will worship with the angels on their face before him. Beautiful child, tell me all that you are seeing at this time. My Lord, I see the angels begin to stand. They form a circle. They are holding hands. I hold hands with them. They are all smiling, rejoicing. There is so much peace here. Oh, I could spend eternity just holding hands with these beautiful angels. They begin to sing of one accord. They begin to move in a circle. How beautiful it is to be here. Every word that they sing is giving praise and glory to our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Oh, how they love him. They adore him. They worship him. They praise him. My child, these angels do not stop worshipping before the Lamb, my son. They are crying out for the souls of man, believing for those to come on the earth to salvation, that this will be their day of salvation. They never stop worshipping, praising, believing, for the souls of men, beautiful child, this is also my mandate for you this day. I wish for you to stand before me in worship, night and day, to praise my holy name, the name of my Son, through the power of the Holy Spirit, and to believe for the salvation of souls, to not stop believing, praying, declaring, decreeing for the salvation of the souls of man, that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to my glory. Beautiful child, do you accept this mandate, this commissioning at this time? Holy Father, Heavenly King, Yes, with all my heart and soul, I long to worship you, to worship your Son, to worship with the angels, to believe for the souls of man that every knee will bow. My child, this is all that I desire from you to do, to stand before me in worship, to stand before my Son in worship, My child, come to me each day, come early, come at 4am, continue to rise early, and I promise you will worship with the angels, you will worship and be filled with my glory, and all your heart's desires will come to fruition, and I know that your heart's desire is for the souls of man, 
to seek my face, to bow their knee, to repent of their sins, and to come to salvation in Christ your Lord. This is your heart's desire, and that is why I'm inviting you into this journey, this journey of worship, praise. But to do so, you must turn your eyes from the world. You must walk away so that your eyes are continually on me. Holy Father, Heavenly King, this is all that I desire to worship you night and day every single moment of my life and I ask that you help us with this journey I ask that you open eyes to see and ears to hear all that we are doing in your name at this time Father, we do not want to disappoint you we need your help please, we ask that you bring mankind to hear these words, to read your books for we feel so much like we are letting you down on the earth because no one is listening, no one cares. And we are so sorry, we are so sorry that you are trying to reach the hearts of man but no one is responding and I am sorry and I feel like I have failed you and I feel like someone else could have done a whole lot better. Therefore I'm repent because I feel so unworthy for this calling. Father, no one even believes what we are doing. My child, do not worry, do not fear, for I know the plans I have for this Kadahashikiti journey. Many in this generation will not care. This generation is filled with unbelievers, with sinners. So many have walked away from me, but there is a generation arising behind this one that will care that will read my words, that will listen to these messages. So do not worry. This generation is blinded at this time. So do not expect too much from this generation. But there is an anointing coming on the generation below this one. Those who are rising up now, their eyes will be opened, their ears opened, their hearts opened to know me and to recognize that these are my words, by my spirit, by my two witnesses on the earth. So do not worry, my child, if there are not many views. This does not matter to me, for this message is for an upcoming generation, a generation that will respond, a generation which will bow their knee and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So do all you are doing now, knowing that this will be for another generation to come. Yes, there will be some who listen, some who care on the earth this day. But the generation to come will be anointed and they will see that my words are living and active and they will feed on the words in my book, my two million words for the nations and their lives will be transformed, their minds will be renewed, and they will see miracles. All you need to do is record these words for the nations and walk away. Do not worry, do not think about it. Allow my Holy Spirit to breathe on these words, to draw mankind to you, to these books, to these messages. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Praise you for this word towards us now. I receive it now in the holy name of Jesus. I love you and I accept this mandate to worship. I lay down everything on the earth and I give my whole life to you. For your honor, praise and glory and I cannot wait to arise at 4am and worship you each day. It is all I long to do from now into eternity. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen.